Hi guys, this is Mrs. Alistar's Gaming and I play under the name Magic Kitty and today I'm going to show you how to defeat the first boss in Valheim. So the first thing you want to do is go to where the altar is on the map. You'll see it here. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly or not but where it says Ikthra. And this is where we're going to make a sacrifice to the altar in order to summon the boss. But first make sure that you have enough food and make sure that your stamina is up. So for the mystical altar what we want to place is these deer trophies. You can get these by hunting deer and you will need two of them. And now that we've summoned him, what we're going to fight him with is the bow and arrow. And we want to stay back from him. As you can see, what you want to do too is block his charges. So as long as you stay out of his field with those electric charges, you're not going to be hurt. So make sure you hit that right mouse button to block those charges there. And there we go, we have defeated the first boss. And we have collected the Ixa Trophy. We've collected the hard antler horns. So Huggins has now turned up saying, congratulations warrior, return to the sacrificial stones with your forsaken trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. So let's head back over to the sacrificial stone. So now we are back at the sacrificial table, which is here on our map. And what we want to do is make sure that trophy is in our inventory. And we're going to go up to the stone here with the deer image and click attach hook. So now we've received the ability to run and jump um, has been improved. Jumps stamina usage 60% and run stamina usage 60%. And press E to activate power. Oh, and our friend Huggin is back. You've been granted the power of Ixa. Use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the lands, and uncover their lost treasures and resources. The Elder awaits. Now, to activate the power of Ixa, all you need to do is press F. You will activate the power with running speed and jumping. And this also has a cooldown timer of 20 minutes. And don't forget we also got the hard antlers from the boss. So if we go over to our workbench, we can use this to make the antler pickaxe. We just need one of the antlers and 10 wood. So now that we have crafted our pickaxe, Huggin has let us know the Black Forest is rich in minerals. You can find copper in the ground and tin lining the ocean shore. Now go forth and strike the earth. So now we can now use that to uh, mine those materials. And just a quick tip, once you have that antler pickaxe, you can also use it to hunt for treasure. Now when you see these rocks assembled in this circle like this, that actually means that there is a treasure chest buried in this area. So we can use the pickaxe to dig through it. And as you can see, we just found coins while digging. And we've just found skeleton, skeletal remains. And we've just found some more skeletal remains.
And finally, we have found a treasure chest. And in this particular one, we have fire arrows and a ruby. So don't forget when you make that antler pickaxe, you can come and search for buried treasure. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. And don't forget to follow us for more Valheim tutorials.